Dynamic Active Constraints for Surgical Robots Using Vector Field Inequalities In endonasal surgery, a highly constrained workspace is occupied by two 3-4mm tools and one 4mm endoscope. For a robotic surgical system to be used, an algorithm must be developed to avoid collisions between the robotic systems, tools, endoscope, and anatomy. Given a control point, a target, and an obstacle, prior techniques provide feedback based on the penetration into the obstacle. This generates discontinuous velocities close to the obstacle, which are undesirable when real robots are controlled. In the proposed technique, the approach velocity is calculated, and this result is used in a constrained optimization algorithm, which guarantees the smoothness of the trajectory. In this work, we generalize our technique to consider moving obstacles using their kinematic information for collision avoidance, which may be impossible with only static information. This extension also applies when several control elements share the same workspace. And the generalized framework avoids collisions with minimal error. Experiment A. Plane Active Constraints The Plane Active Constraint Experiment is where the plane corresponded with the upper face of the foam prism. The following cases were studied. When no constraints are active, the robot goes through the plane. A zero gain means no motion towards the plane is allowed. Increasing the gain means the robot can move faster towards the plane. After a given gain, the robot moves fast enough to reach the plane. The plane is not trespassed with any gain. Experiment B. Constrained Workspace Manipulation The relative pose between robots is obtained using a visual tracker. After, the robots can be commanded to move near the nostrils. Each nostril has a sphere. And also, spheres are added in the end of the septum, whose distance to the tool centerline is limited. Outside the patient, active constraints are also required. One robot had four dynamic points attached to it, and the other a dynamic plane. The distance between them is constrained. Finally, each tool has a finite cylinder constraint to avoid collisions. With those active constraints, the robot can be commanded to insert the tool inside the anatomical model. The full setup is shown in this figure, and the robot is commanded to move autonomously in a prescribed trajectory, tracing the membrane through the cut path used in real surgery. In this experiment, the robots are able to move through the prescribed linear trajectory while avoiding the anatomy. The results of this initial tracing are used as ground truth of the second part of this experiment, in which both arms move as follows. When both arms are commanded in the same trajectory as before, they are put into collision course with one another. But the proposed algorithm allows them to safely evade the collision between moving shafts, while other constraints are also maintained. Experiment C. Flexible Membrane Manipulation In this experiment, the right tool was teleoperated while the left tool was commanded to stay in place. Without the residual, the left tool is unaware of the right tool's speed. It does not move away from the right tool. With the residual, the left tool is aware of the right tool's speed. 
Therefore, the task becomes possible. The end goal of this project is to assist surgeons on membrane suturing. Ongoing research is on what level of autonomy is beneficial to this task. Thank you for watching.